What's up, guys? What's up, guys? We're about to go cut some grass. Mm. Yeah. But well, we got a new toy, didn't we, Lux? Yes, we didn't did. Didn't we, JT? Yes, we did. And by we, I mean you two. Yay! Because you guys invested in the business in a new toy, but you can't guess what it is, but you can't guess. It is a, it's a steel toy. Oh, it's not an X Mark toy? Yeah. I have my nails done. Uh, can you run and grab my shoes real quick, buddy? Nice shoes. Yeah, sure. Thanks. What's up, bro? Hey, babe. What are you doing, man? Yeah, I did man. Looking good. You ready to cut? Yeah. All right, bro. Got some work ahead of you today. Uh-huh. You ready? Uh-huh. All right. He's been talking about it all week. Huh? He's been talking about it all week. Well, make sure that you get some filming done. Oh, I will. Huh? Why are you starting it while the... I didn't mean to. Oh. I was trying to check the gas. I'm gassing up before we leave. Ready to go? You're gonna follow us out there? Are we? Uh, There's no sense to. Well, yeah, well, I mean, you gotta pull those branches, right? Oh, yeah. So you're gonna need to put them in the back, right? Okay, just take it real easy on their property. You don't wanna tear it up. We, I think we didn't tear it up last time. We need to grab a couple of those. Uh, Where's the cooler Dad, at? I gotta Dad, grab will the you cooler. put the blades back on the chainsaws? Where's the cooler yeah. at? It's on the porch. Well, I can't do that right now, but I will. Yeah. So you guys might recognize this place that we're at now. Uh, we picked this one up, what, two years ago? Or two last years year? ago. Two years ago. So uh, there's always been a leveling problem on the front of the lawn, and it looks like they've had some work done. So it's always a good idea to go ahead and film when they have new work done. So you, you can uh, verify that you're not the one that damaged anything. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. So that's what we're doing right now. So you can see where the leveling is right here. Uh, this was, these were holes uh, that are now filled in, but not very well. And that's why I'm filming them because uh, it is possible that we could scalp uh, the side of this hill because of these depressions. So we like to, we like to show not. that we're not the one that dug these things all out, right? We're not the ones that did that. So, uh, but here, um, we like to show stuff like this too, because this could potentially be an issue. Look at this work, you guys. Yikes. They just left the, They just left it. The sprinkler. Look they just that. they just left it laying right on the surface. That's crazy. Uh, I hope they're gonna come back and fill it in, this. fix their job because that's terrible. Yeah, that could do some damage right there. So we like to film stuff like this just to show, hey man, it wasn't us that did it, yeah. right?
What's up, Cole? Ship. You having a good time? Yeah. Hard working, huh? Uh-huh. And working hard. Flying debris. Mm. <laughs> that. You know, it's got a tripod. You can set it on the trip. Look. Oh, really? I've only ever like had one ticket my whole life. Well, okay. tell them about it. About what my happened? ticket? Yeah, what happened when uh, you got your ticket? The one ticket I've ever had my whole life was because a drunk driver. Well, actually, he wasn't. The cops said he wasn't drunk. He was drunk. But he was drunk. They didn't even really do a, a, a like what is it called? Test. Yeah, a sobriety test. Or a breathalyzer. But, or a breathalyzer. They didn't do any of that stuff. And you could tell he was obviously very drunk. But um, yeah, he pulled out in front of me. Um, he was supposed to yield to me. I had a green light, and he pulled out uh, in front of me. And me and JT, you know, kind of pissed off about it so yeah that was the one ticket i got and that was because i was driving without insurance that was the only on our reason. way to get insurance yes on our way to get insurance we were A right block down away. the road yeah we were right down the road from the insurance place actually but yep i got a ticket for no insurance but everything happens for a reason guys there's a settlement coming from that uh accident that happened yep. and it's actually a pretty decent one so I can't definitely can't complain. It was a $900 truck, you know. We got our money back out of it already, so. Well, I'm excited about uh, getting to this yard.
Yeah. It's cold. Yeah. It is cold. It's cold and rainy here, mm -hmm. and they're getting snow and stuff up in the northeast. So it's crazy opening uh, to a crazy uh, year already. Yeah, the last few days I had the temperature control totally off. So we've been saving money, and then the, today it was cold. It's cold today. I had to turn Got the, the heat, heat on. on. It's crazy down but here. I only it's always turned like it to this. 72. So. It's always like this in the springtime. Get it! That little shit. Gidget. What are you doing? <laughs> She's an awesome dog. She is. Uh, and her training's going really well. Yes, it is. She's potty trained 100% now. No accidents. Zero accidents in weeks. Um, she still likes to get things out of Ben's office and kind of yeah. chew them up. She likes to pull stuff off the tables. Yes. Especially if it belongs to me. I'm not sure what that's all about. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of typical of the women in my life, though, my son. <laughs> uh, Get, come here. Come so, here. so, just we just wanted to give an update. We got stuff for the fridge fame real quick too. Yes. Uh, but I wanted to give an update uh, on th how things are going uh, with Acme. Going great. Uh, if you can't tell, everybody's in pretty good spirits. The season's off to a pretty good start. Uh, we're lining up the mulch jobs, uh, knocking them out. Uh, got rained out today. Uh, of course, because that's the way things go. Uh, but uh, I only mowed two yards Stop. in two weeks. I mowed two yards in two weeks. She's pestering. I know. Gidget. it. No. She's chewing on that. Don't Tell let me. her chew on it. I'm trying. Spank her. No, no. <laughs> You just sternly say no. So we're just here to give you a quick update on Acme. So two weeks I've mowed two yards. Yay! <laughs> I've done zero mulch jobs. I've done some trimming and edging. But that's about it. That's the extent of it. I uh, like it. Pretty much JT and Lex are taking it over 100%. Do you know why Things I Things are like going it? well. You know why I like it? Because... He's been busy playing World of Warcraft in his office, and now that I have my hippie room, I'm in there watching TV, watching the YouTube videos. Yeah. Yay! I showed him your hippie room right before we walked out because <laughs> it's I wanted so cool. I wanted to show uh, Joe the lawnmower man that we uh, framed that picture in there. Yeah. See, I'm the one that hung it up. Yeah. So. She didn't drop the frame. I did not drop the frame. <laughs> so two takeaways from this video. Uh, it's always a good idea to film the first cut of the season, especially uh, around the houses and around the property mm -hmm. and document any damage that, that may have been done. And then just hold that video. If people, what do I want to say? I, I, She's chewing on that. Yes. Gidget. Puppies. So we're trying a different seating configuration yes. because Gidget will not stop chewing on crap. Uh, she's a she's a retriever, so we, we knew that was going to happen. Uh, we just forgot to bring out a toy. Normally, we'll put a toy in her mouth and something, right? Yes, and it's very. I have a short a short attention span, so if someone's constantly doing. Uh, okay. Um, so the two takeaways, <laughs> the two takeaways from this video, is it's always a good idea to to film, especially when they've had work done. But it's always a good idea that first cut or two of the season, or when you notice damage, to go ahead and film it, uh, so you can document it, so you got it right in case uh, somebody were to come back and and blame you for some damage, and and you'd be out of pocket. People aren't the same as they used to be. Nope. These new fangled folks. That's uh, also why you should have insurance to cover. You got to be a lawyer today in today's world. <laughs> you have to care, be careful and take care of yourselves, right? Yes. Uh, so it's always a good idea to, to document any changes that have happened to a property damage-wise or, you know, in other cases. Uh, 
And the second takeaway uh, that JT put out there was everything happens for a reason. Yes, it does. Uh, and that's kind of been our family mantra for years and decades and decades. Mm -hmm. uh, we're always saying it, constantly saying it. Uh, everything does happen for a reason. Something bad happens, there's a reason that happened. And so you try to think just, positive just, about just it. Just hold and, on and wait and, for it. It's coming. And then... Normally you know, it's you, a pot. You live through it and you come out better. Normally it's a positive that happens, but sometimes yeah. it's a negative. So sometimes it that's is. That's life, guys. You got to put up with the bad if you want the good. Heck yeah, but you can always find something hey, positive in it. I'm so bored. I know you are, baby. We got a uh, fridge effect. Yes. Oh, very quickly. Uh, very quickly. Let's do that one. Sarasota Lawn and Landscaping. Sarasota la lawn, lawn and Landscaping. Okay. <clears throat> She's too young to play the slot machine. <clears throat> Don't turn her around. Okay. All right. Sarasota Lawn and Landscaping. That's There's a nice sticker. Don't that worry. one. We got that I one. I like this one, though. It's kind of cool. Yeah, S, L, and L uh -huh. with the palm tree. Wish Heck we had yes. palm trees here. Lucky. Well, we do. Lucky. We do. We've yeah. got that place that makes them from All right. steel or something like that. And there's, the, like there's that. a note, and it says, Thank you for the sticker swap. Wishing you a happy, healthy, and prosperous year. Sarasota Lawn and Landscaping. Hey, that's one of the ones that I got off of Instagram DM. He said, Hey, do you want to do a sticker swap? So that's awesome. We're going to put you on the fridge fame anyway. Yes. You probably didn't even know it. Uh, and then we got this. Oh, do you want me to do, yeah, let's, want to do this? Yeah, we'll open and this one we'll and then we'll put them. them on. Okay. Who's this from? This one is from... Mowers for Vets. Mowers for Vets. Very awesome. good cost. Yeah. Yes. That's our, that's our man Floyd up there. Oh, this is so cool. All right. Mowers for Vets. Very cool sticker. It's big, too. Heck yeah. That'll take up a lot of room. Yes. All right, so we'll put that on the side since that's not an actual company. Okay. But we're going to represent. Yes. We're going to put you up on the side right over here with our other awesome, awesome <laughs> folks. What's it say? He says, you're better at words than me, Floyd. Oh. <laughs> I guess you have to make up a note. No, I don't I don't have to make up a note because that, that constitutes a note in itself. Uh, I, I will say, I will talk about mowers for vets okay. for a while. If you haven't checked out uh, his channel, you should go over. I'm going to I'm gonna post the info right here with the Facebook, or not the Facebook, the uh, the YouTube and the, uh, the uh, Instagram. Put it right up here. Go check them out. They're giving away mowers uh, to vets in need of them. So that's a really good cause. Yes, it is. Uh, and I encourage you to at least go check out his channel and subscribe and, and watch it. Uh, and support them in that manner if uh, you can't afford a couple extra bucks to donate to them. That's right. That's it. So let's get these so, up. Uh, let let us know if you're doing a fundraiser or anything, and we'll let we'll let our guys know. Heck yeah. Maybe they'll be able to help you out. We're always up for fundraising. So Sarasota Lawn and Landscaping is going up on the fridge thing amongst such notables as. Precision Lawn Service. Mark's Lawn Care. Jim's Landscape. Right next to Gun. Get it done with Gun and Mitchell's. And also right next to Augusta. Welcome to the Fridge Fame, SNL. What do you have to say about it? Welcome to the Fridge of Fame. SNL. SNL. Now, uh, Mowers for Vets, you're going up on the side over here since yes. you're not an exact uh, lawn care company or otherwise kind of a company. But you're more of a uh, charity organization, I would or say. Or support. Yes, our support is over Supports. here. Supports. Yes. Yep. yep. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, KLC's it's old just, sticker. nah, it's just KLC. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. We love KLC. Mowers and, for Vets. And we love the fact that the. You're going on our honorable, are still upside on down. our honorable business sides uh, over here, right underneath 
Uh, Caleb's Dependable Lawn Care. That's the old sticker. Uh, <laughs> you're going right underneath there's, him, kitty corner to Blades Grass. We got Blades Grass on the uh, front of the fridge as well, but his other stickers over here. Yep. And kitty corner to Noe Lawn Care. Ten I minutes. know. It's it's Noe. I know it. Yes. Right? Yes, it is. So, Welcome. what do you have to say, madam? <laughs> okay. That's it. Love each other. Make lots of money. And peace. Peace. We'll see you on Saturday. Sorry we, we didn't uh, make it last Saturday. We were too tired. We were exhausted. All right, we're done. Bye, y'all.